India's Air Force has slowly become one of the world's largest. This is the result of the country's growing economy and the need for maintaining regional stability. India as South Asia's largest country and one of Asia's largest economies must project power to protect its interests and maintain a balance of power in the region. One of the most essential pieces of a country's air force, however, is its fighter jets. These are the backbone of any modern air force. So, India having advanced fighter jets is essential for ensuring its national security. But the question is, are India's fighter jets actually strong? Can they project power in the region? Or are they just small and weak? Well, let's talk about the fighter jets currently deployed by India's Air Force and see just how strong they are. Prior to 2015, India's Air Force was dwindling down. It was mainly composed of an aging Russian fleet. The Indian Air Force required 42 squadrons to effectively counter the possibility of a true front war with China and Pakistan, but its strength was dwindled to just 31 squadrons. This meant that they needed to acquire newer and better fighter jets. These fighter jets were the likes of the Mikoyan Gorevich MiG-21, MiG-29 and the Sukhoi fighters. The MiG-21 has played a monumental role in India's Air Force history. However, in recent years, this very aircraft has fallen behind compared to other fighter jets. India is even expected to officially retire these by 2025 after serving the country for nearly six decades. The MiG-21 first entered service with the Indian Air Force in 1965 on a trial basis and by 1966 it had become a significant part of the fleet. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. From around 1970 to the mid-2000s, the MiG-21 was the backbone of India's fighter force until the growing presence of Su-30 MKIs began to take center stage. The MiG-21 was license-built in India from 1966 to approximately 1988. The MiG-21 earned praise for its maneuverability, climb rate and combat effectiveness even being favored over Western aircraft by some test pilots. Its variants including the MiG-21FL, MiG-21M, MiG-21BIS and the upgraded MiG-21 Bison played critical roles in India's air defense and saw action in several conflicts. Besides the MiG-21, the Indian Air Force had also acquired the MiG-29. They were the first international customers to do so. They placed an order for over 66 aircraft in the year 1980, even while it was still in development. Since its induction into the Indian Air Force in 1985, the MiG-29 has undergone numerous upgrades, including new avionics, engines, and radar systems. Despite being in service for over three decades, the MiG-29 remains a formidable fighter in the Indian Air Force's fleet. Compared to its predecessors, the MiG-21, the MiG-29 has a solid operational record. Initially developed as an air superiority fighter in the 1970s, the MiG-29 has proven to be a versatile, multi-role aircraft capable of handling various missions. Today, the Indian Air Force operates around 60 MiG-29s across three squadrons. The MiG-29 along with Su-30 MKI and other aircraft continues to serve as a frontline fighter. Despite being an older aircraft, the MiG-29 has fewer operational issues compared to other MiG variants, which has helped maintain its relevance in the Indian Air Force's fleet. Besides these MiG fighter jets, the Indian Air Force also deploys another Russian-made aircraft. This is known as the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, which is a multi-role combat fighter aircraft developed collaboratively by the Sukhoi Design Bureau of Russia and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The development of the Su-30 MKI for the Indian Air Force began in 1995. Initially, Sukhoi and Irkutsk Aircraft Production Association were responsible for the aircraft's design and production. Between 1995 and 1998, Sukhoi built two prototypes, with the first prototype, the Su-30I-1, taking its maiden flight in July 1997. Production commenced at the Irkutsk plant in 2000. 
and the first pre-production aircraft flew in November of the same year. In October 2000, India signed a memorandum of understanding with Russia, paving the way for the licensed production of Su-30 MKIs at HAL's facilities. The first HAL assembled Su-30 MKI rolled out in November 2004 and the first two aircraft from this production line were delivered to the Indian Air Force in March 2005. In 2007, the Indian Air Force placed an additional order with HAL for 40 more Su-30 MKIs. Further expanding the fleet, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited signed a contract in December 2012 with the Ministry of Defence and Rosso Boron Export for the production and delivery of 42 more Su-30 MKIs, bringing the total to 222 ordered aircraft. As of January 2020, the Indian Air Force operated 260 Su-30 MKIs. Beyond Russia, the Indian Air Force also has several other fighter jets that they have acquired from other countries. One of these is France. France has played a role in Indian Air Force's history. One of these aircrafts that India acquired from France is the Dassault Mirage 2000. The Dassault Mirage 2000 is a French single-engine fourth-generation jet developed by Dassault Aviation. Initially designed in the late 1970s as a lightweight fighter for the French Air Force, it quickly evolved into a multi-role aircraft. With several variants and over 600 aircraft built, the Mirage 2000 has served nine nations, proving its versatility and reliability. The Indian Air Force acquired this aircraft when Pakistan acquired F-16 from United States in 1980. This acquisition by Pakistan pushed Indian Air Force to urgently acquire modern fleet. The MiG-21s were outclassed by the F-16s. After evaluating the Mirage 2000, India placed an order with Dassault in October 1982 for 36 single-seat Mirage 2000Hs and 4 twin-seat Mirage 2000Th with an option for additional aircraft. Impressed by the success of the Mirage 2000, the Indian government placed an additional order for 10 more aircraft in the year 2004, bringing the total fleet to 50 jets. In 2011, a contract was signed to upgrade the existing Mirage 2000s to the Mirage 2005 MK standard, extending their service life until 2030. The other French-made jet that the Indian Air Force operates is the newer Dassault Rafale. The Indian government back in 2016 had signed a deal with the French aircraft manufacturer Dassault Aviation for a 7.87 billion euro agreement to purchase 36 Rafale multi-role fighters. These new Rafale multi-role fighters are now the backbone of India's fighter jets. By 2023, the Indian government had once again selected the Salt Rafale for the Indian Navy. They will have 26 Rafale aircrafts. This will make India the first nation besides France to operate both versions of the Rafale, reinforcing its dominance in both aerial and maritime domain and ensuring its sovereignty. Finally, the most important fighter jet that India currently possesses is the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited Tejas. These are the face of India's fighter jet future. The Tejas Mark I is a 4.5 generation, lightweight, high agility, supersonic multi-fighter aircraft that officially entered service with the Indian Air Force in July 2016. The aircraft was designed and developed by the Defence Research and Development Organization's Aeronautical Development Agency under the Light Combat Aircraft Program, with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited serving as the prime industrial contractor. While the Tejas Mark I is a huge milestone for the Indian Air Force and the entire Indian National Defence, they are by no means the only one that is helping push India's defence industry to the next level. One more aircraft of vital importance is the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, commonly known as AMCA. In 2024, the Cabinet Committee on Security approved the development of five AMCA prototypes at an initial cost of over 15,000 crore Indian rupees, which is about 1.8 billion US dollars. This AMCA will position India to have its very own fifth generation stealth fighter. The first AMCA prototype is expected to roll out in four years, with its maiden flight scheduled for the following year. Full-scale production by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is anticipated to begin around 2035 with the Indian Air Force planning to induct seven squadrons 
और रफली 126 जेट्स ऑफ द एमका द एमका विल फीचर एडवांस्ड स्टेल्थ टेक्नोलॉजीज इंक्लूडिंग अ सर्पेंटाइन एयर इंटेक एंड इंटरनल वेपन्स बे रडार एब्जॉर्बिंग मटीरियल्स एंड कन्फॉर्मल एंटेनास इट विल ऑल्सो बी इक्विप्ड विद डेटा फ्यूजन मल्टा सेंसर इंटीग्रेशन एंड आइजा राडास enabling it to achieve supersonic cruise speeds without afterburners initially the first two mk squadrons will be powered by ge f414 engines while the subsequent mark 2 squadrons will feature more powerful 110 kN engines with companies like ge saffron and rolls royce in contention for development the mk program will follow the induction of the tejas mark 1a and mark 2 jets which are essential for the indian air force currently operating with only 31 fighter squadrons out of the 42.5 authorized the indian air force's fleet with 83 tejas mark 1a fighters set for delivery soon followed by another 97 jets additionally the tejas mark 2 powered by ge f414 engines will begin deliveries after the completion of the mark 1a orders eventually leading to the amcas induction so just how strong are indian fighter jets well they are indeed strong but anyways do let us know what you think about it thanks for watching jai hind